morning everyone, welcome to another Capture One Pro tutorial here on the channel and I'm going to explain the Curve tool in under 5 minutes for you guys so you feel more confident using this as you edit your images. So let's get right into this. The Curve tool, what it does, it will impact the brightness across a tonal range in your image and it gives you a lot more granular control than the Levels tool. Now this also gives you multiple options. So you can control the brightness with RGB, so including the color area or just the luminosity of things and not impact the color. That's with the Luma tab here or creatively with the red, green and blue channels and impact brightness there in your tonal ranges. And when I say impacting brightness, really what this does, the end result is manipulate contrast in your image. So again, contrast in RGB channels, contrast in just the luminosity and not impacting the color as much and contrast in your red, green, blue independently. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like in practice. You can quickly go in and see what this looks like by choosing one of the presets. So if you go into the hamburger icon right here, you can add the five points, which is usually what I do, but more importantly, you can add contrast in just the luminosity channel. You can add contrast in the RGB channels as well. So as you can see with contrast RGB, it's impacting all the color channels as well. So you get more saturation, more punch. You can make the mid-tones brighter. You can make the mid-tones darker. You can make the shadows brighter as well. And what you can do is if you're starting off, just click one of these and you'll see what it does to the curve itself. So right here in RGB, when I go to shadows brighter, you can see what it's doing. Let's go ahead and reset that. If I go mid-tones darker, you see what that's doing there to the curve. And you see mid-tones brighter what it's doing. So again, as you move this line up, it is pushing up the brightness. If you pull it down, it's pulling down the brightness. And again, toward the left, darker shadow tones. Toward the right, the highlights, brighter tones. Let's go ahead and reset that. If you go to contrast in your RGB, look at that. You get that S curve. And this is what a lot of people talk about, that standard S curve to boost contrast with a curve tool, whether it's Capture One or Photoshop or what have you. So again, using some of the presets will give you a good starting point. Let's go ahead and reset that. Let's go to contrast in the Luma. What I like to do is add a five point on all channels for the luminosity here and start with luminosity first. So generally here, I like where the dark point is. I'm going to actually boost up the shadows just a little bit so I can shift the histogram a little bit to the right. And especially with the black, just bring it up just a little bit so the darkest parts of the images are boosted a little bit. So we have a little bit of a better starting point. You can see the histogram has been shifted over. And then from here, start to impact the dark tones. Let's pull this down a bit to start bringing in the contrast. Let's actually bring the mid-tones because a lot of information here. So let's bring this up and bring that brighter. Okay, so we have a little bit of an S-curve going. And moving the extremes here, this will change the black point or the white point of your image. Uh, this is this is terrible. God, I don't want that to be associated with my name. So let's bring that back. So again, let's bring it in here, brighten up the tones. Again, we have a good amount of contrast in this image. So again, if we look at the starting point where it was to where it is now, great starting point. From here, we can then go independently to the red, green, blue channels and change the contrast of these as well. So if you look at just this here, not only is this changing the red, but also inversely impacts the other channels as well. So I can go in here, start to bring that up, go into the greens, if I want to boost the greens, if I want to bring them down a bit, I can all impact that right here. And this will change the balance of this image as well. Not necessarily going in the right direction here. This seems a little off. So let's actually go back to the reds, pull that back down. Let's go back to the greens. And there you have it. So probably not where I want to end this image. I'm probably going to do a little bit more editing to this. But that being said, if you're looking at your creative process, playing around with the curve tool allows you to move toward a visual style of your own. And really spending time here playing with this is going to be really rewarding for you because you'll get to see not only how this tool works, but how you can use it to create your own visual signature with the images that you're editing. 
I hope you guys found this useful. If there's something that you specifically want to learn about, let me know in the comments below. And if you're considering signing up for Capture One or trying it, please do consider using my link in the description. It does help me out and help the channel out. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time.